Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times, here in paradise in this undisclosed swamp on the planet on this lovely... It is Sunday afternoon, February 21st, 2021, and it has been a another topsy-turvy day. And uh, so uh, with the third attempt, I finally got out my rant about enemies. Uh, that the, the whole subject of enemies and how we make enemies in our life has been uh, gnawing at me. And uh, so of course, the flip side of that, of, of enemies, the, you know, the yin to the yang is, is the whole notion of friendship. So this beautiful place I'm walking here, one of my favorite places in the world. The last time I, I was here, I think it was five days ago, walking down this very road on a beautiful day with a good friend of mine, enjoying the company of a like-minded friend. And, uh, well, that was, what was that? Four days ago. And here I am back on another beautiful day and my uh, good friend is now history. Uh, good friend is now history. Uh, never to speak to this person again. That uh, the friendship. Uh, <laughs> when I when I woke up this morning, if uh, somebody had mentioned this person to me, I would have said yes. Uh, Good friend of mine, known this person for years. We just uh, we just had lunch together a few days ago and uh, went on a hike, and that's the last time I saw the person. Last time I saw the last time I saw this person, I gave them a big hug and made plans to get together in a few weeks. And now I will never lay eyes. On this human being again I will never have another conversation I will never I will I will never see this person again I will never talk to this person on the phone I never receive another email from this person and it's just, it's, you know, it's just unbelievable how fragile uh, friendships are. How literally, literally, one minute uh, you think you're somebody's friend and, and one minute later you find out that you, that things have changed and this person who is giving you a hug four days ago is now done with you uh, on their shit list forever and it's just it, 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 I, I won't say th this is the first time in my life but it but it really hasn't happened many times with the the ad, you know just completely out of the blue just completely out of the blue uh, watching a friendship just just go down the fucking toilet, and and uh, it, it, just unbelievable uh, how how fragile friendships are. Anybody who tries to tell me that that friendship is uh, is thick, you know. Uh, that we're brothers and brothers and sisters and sisters and brothers and sisters uh, and, and, you, and you think you know somebody and you've known this person for years and, and, and it, just, it's just, it, it just spins your head around and just the, it just rocks 
the, the, the very concept of being able to trust anybody when shit like this, just when it comes out of the blue like this, uh, just, I, I mean, I, I'm talking with no warning, comes out of the fucking blue, uh, and you're thinking, you know, my, my God, what in the hell just happened here? And, uh, it, 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 it was, it was every bit as jarring as running my truck into that damn tree in my driveway. That one second, uh, <laughs> you know, one second I'm sitting there turning the key in my truck, planning to go meet a friend, a, you know, going to go meet a friend for lunch and, and the next minute I'm slammed up against a tree with $3,000 worth of damage uh, to my truck. Like, like, what the fuck just happened here? And, uh, you know, I did this every time. Well, we're gonna, no, we have to make a short walk. The sun's already going down, though, dog. They gotta go this way. We're doing, ah, we're going this way. And, uh, you know, it's just the, the, it just, it just the whole notion of, uh, of trust. How can you, you know, how can you trust anybody? Uh, I've, I've had this, this rant too many times before that you can't, that to trust another human being uh, on this planet to take somebody, you know, to take somebody into your life uh, and call them your friend. It's, uh, and just how, just unbelievably the, how, how delicate that little strand is that, that holds you together. You think that you have some sort of iron tight bond uh, with somebody you've known for years and then like that it's uh, it's severed uh, it's just you know I'm 61 years old and and I've been trying to uh, figure this out no you know it's not the same thing as as lovers you know you can you know when you get sex all tied into it you know you get that whole jealousy thing going and all of that crap but when that has nothing to do with uh, the the sudden collapse of a friendship when it's just one of your buddies you know uh, you think you have a buddy one minute, and uh, and it's just sad. It's just sad uh, when uh, when this when this shit happens like this. I mean, it just it just it, it just spins your fucking head around. Just. Uh, you know, how do you ever trust somebody? You know, it, 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 what am I doing misreading people like this? And, uh, you know, friends they come and friends they go. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm thinking about all of my friends in Austin, Texas uh, that I haven't spoken to. You know, someone was uh, reminding me, I guess, uh, about my 45th birthday when I had 350, 350 people show up for my 45th birthday. That would be 16 years ago. Of those 350 people there at that birthday party 16 years ago, in the past year, I have may, well, okay, since I sold my house in Austin and, okay, since, uh, 
when did I leave Austin? June the 8th. All right. Since I left Austin on June the 8th, I have literally, let's see, I have probably had email contact maybe 10 people. I would be shocked if I have had a telephone conversation with uh, five people in Austin, Texas from this, uh, from my, my group of lovable friends in Austin. I don't, at the absolute outside, I have talked on the telephone with five people since June 8th and have I laid eyes on one of my friends from Austin, Texas since June the 8th? Nope. I have not, you know, been in personal contact with one single friend of mine in Austin, Texas. Uh, it's just, uh, where, the, the, where the hell do friends go? I mean, when you, I've mentioned this the, before, I don't know, years ago I heard this interview actually on NPR with this writer, I can't remember who it was, John somebody, it might have been John Updike, probably being interviewed by Terry Gross, but anyway, they, they got into this conversation and whoever the interviewers, you know, brought up the subject of friendship and this writer, John Somebody, was talking about how he had, what he does like at the end of each year is he edits, he, that was a word he uses, that he edits his friendships, that he, uh, you know, basically just goes down the list of people uh, that he considers to be his friend or have been friends that have drifted away and he just literally makes the decision at the end of the year to cross them off out of his life. You, you, you know, can't, you know, deletes them uh, from his phone call you know what I'm saying, from his phone call contacts, deletes them uh, from his email, and just cold-bloodedly just goes down this list of, uh, of people each year. And just, you know, just, and that's basically the way he was explaining it, that it's just a cold-blooded, you, you know, he looks at these people, well, uh, what am I getting out of this friendship for what I'm putting into it? Uh, and so each year he deletes old friends, you know, with the hopeful intention of making new friends. But it, it, it's just fucking sad, you know, and especially down here in the Doomosphere, guys. Just especially down here in the Doomosphere, there are the tiny, tiny few of us who uh, understand what's going on on this planet. Just like my friend who uh, 86 me out of their life this morning, uh, just out, out of the blue, just fucking 86 me. It has nothing to do with me being a doomer or an anti-masker. This person is a doomer and an anti-masker both. And, uh, he, 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 you know, us anti-masker doomers, my God. How many of us are on the entire planet uh, at, at, at the most critical time for us to stick together uh, and just to, uh, j just to, you know, just to wake up one morning and, and take a big, uh, Sharpie and just put an X through somebody's life. Psst. 
that uh, I am going to put an X through this person's life. Uh, I, I am making the uh, decision based on whatever their crime, perceived crime, real crime, whatever it was. It was obviously a perceived crime, whether it was, you know what I'm saying, and whatever the level of crime that because of that, I am never going to forgive this person. I'm never going to, go on now, I'm never going to speak to them again out of my fucking life. Maybe I just need to learn to do that more. I just, uh, you know, like most people, just let friends disappear. Friends will arrive, friends will disappear. As the Bob Dylan song says, buckets of rain, buckets of tears. Got all these buckets coming out of my ears. Friends will arrive and friends will disappear. So since I'm uh, pretty sure my friend is still listening to this, all I can say is friend, uh, I appreciate you dropping by my life. I am sorry you uh, made the decision you made for whatever reason. Obviously, you thought that uh, Hambone Little Tail is, is uh, not adding anything to your life. And uh, I wish you well. I wish you well, friend because we all need all the friends we can get and now we both have one less friend to count on one less friend to count on but anyway here's my little friend my little friend i don't know what i'm going to do guys when i lose this little friend uh, it's going to be a sad fucking day in my life when I lose my little buddy here. <sighs> Don't even want to think about it. Anyway, I mean, all joking aside, get out there and enjoy your friendships while you still can. Enjoy the hell out of every single friendship you have. Because as I found out this morning, those friends can be gone in the blink of an eye. And uh, just one more sad comment on the state of the fucking planet as we are all so fucked. Bye guys. Goodbye, friends. Love you guys.